welcome to the AOA solution channel in this video I'll be walking through an example that borders on um, application of the rectangular component to determine to determine the motion geometry of a particle moving in a curved path and we're going to walk through this example that goes to us the motion of a particle moving in a curved path is defined by the equations x is equal to 90 minus 1.5 t square plus 0.2 t cube and y is equal to 5 plus 6t minus 0 0.1 t square. Here x and y are expressed in meter and t is the time in seconds. We are told to determine number one, the position, velocity and acceleration after four seconds. That's when the time t is four seconds. And then we are to look for the time the velocity makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal and the acceleration at that time. So, we're going to start by identifying what was given to us. First, we're given a a, an equation for x, x coordinate for every point in time. Then we're given an equation for the y coordinate for, at every point in time. Then we already know that the position of the particle at every point in time relates both the x, y, and z coordinates to get one value r. So, to find r, we're going to impute our values of um, x. So we're going to impute our values of x as well as our values of y into the equation and the value of z which is zero for this case into the equation to get our basic equation for r. And once r is, is obtained, we're going to progress to determine the velocity equation for the particle motion. And we know that velocity is just the time derivative of position vector. So v is equal to d dt of r. And we've already gotten r earlier and we've, and we've already gotten an equation for r earlier, which is a function of time. So we're going to differentiate this equation with respect to time, and we'll get a very simple equation for our velocity. And once that is done, the next step would be to determine our acceleration equation, which um, is just a derivative of velocity. That's d dt of v, we give us our, our acceleration. We have gotten an equation for our velocity, which is a function of time. So we're going to differentiate this equation with respect to time to get our acceleration. And if we do that, we're going to get a very simple equation for our acceleration. The next step is to begin to answer the question which involves finding the values of the position, the velocity and acceleration when time is given as 4 seconds, that's t equal to 4 seconds. We're going to start with the position, we have our equation for our position, then we impute the value of 4 seconds, that's 4, into every place we have t. And once that is done, and if we evaluate, we're going to get one simple equation for our position vector, which is just, just numbers in their respective as is expressed in meters. Next, we have to look for velocity when the time is 4 seconds. And we have our velocity equation, which is also a function of time. So we're going to impute the values of time into the velocity equation. And once that is done, we have our value of velocity as expected. Then after that, we, we go further to look for the acceleration in, when the time is 4 seconds. To do that, we just put in the values of time t equal to 4 in all the place of t in the acceleration equation and we get one simple answer for acceleration. So invariably we've gotten our values of position, velocity and acceleration when time is 4 seconds. Next part of the question requires us to find the time and acceleration when the velocity makes an angle of 45 seconds. For when the velocity makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. And to do that, let's introduce our coordinate system and then put in our values of velocity. We discover that this values of velocity makes an angle theta. And if that is known, of course, we know that there are dimensions that makes up this velocity in terms of Vs and Vy, which we can describe as Vs, Vy, has gotten from the equation and we know that from our pythagoras theory vs over vy is equal to tan theta so for this case we have that theta is equal to 45 degrees and we have our velocity to be and we already have our velocity equation derived earlier so what we are being told is um, to find a condition of time t for which these values vx and vy which are already in our velocity will be equal to the tan of will be equal to tan 45 degrees. So we have first and foremost our value for Vs, and then we have our value for Vy.
So if we put that back into the basic equation that we're working with, we have our equation to be equal to our values to be equal to 10 45 degrees so and we have that to be equal to 1 um, invariably if we have that equation and we simplify and use it to form one simple quadratic equation we can solve our quadratic equation using any known method to get our values of time which is 3 seconds and 1.67 seconds so those are two values of time for which the the particle will make the velocity of the particle would make an angle of 45 degrees with the x axis and we're also told to look for the acceleration at this time so we're going to start with the first one and to do that we need to call our equation of acceleration and we said the time the first time is three seconds so putting that time into our equation for acceleration and we get one simple equation for acceleration when the time is three seconds so as a data value of velocity that makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal axis we've gotten one value of acceleration also when the time is 1.6 seconds if we do the same with our equation that we already had if we put our value of 1.67 seconds in the place of t we get another value of acceleration so we have two values of acceleration because we have two values of time for which the velocity makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal so summary we were given um, equations for position vector the equations for instantaneous velocity and acceleration vector were then derived after that we calculated values of instantaneous velocity acceleration as well as the position when the time was four seconds then we look for the time and acceleration when the velocity makes an angle of 45 degrees as well i want to require us to walk through this problem as a practice exercise for this particular problem we're given equations for velocities that's velocity and velocity in the x axis and the y axis and we're told to determine the position velocity and acceleration after four seconds given that x naught is equal to zero y naught is equal to five that's when the time is zero seconds x is zero and when the time is zero seconds y is five so with these two variables you can be able to find the constant of integration when you integrate to get your equation for displacement then also you're told to find the angle the velocity makes with the horizontal when the time was three seconds this is straightforward you just put in your value of three seconds into your equations of velocity then use the basic equation that we've used before to evaluate our angle to find the angle for this case you're likely to get 45 degrees which is similar to the example we just walked through so this will be all for now i want to thank you for watching i do hope the video was illustrative enough and do well to subscribe to the channel bye for now and do well to subscribe to the channel bye for now